guys. So I wanted to bring you in on my process and figuring out how we finalize our formulas. I think that sometimes people see a product line come out and assume that it is maybe formulated by the factory with chemists that I've never met, but I want you guys to really know that that's not the case. So we're already months and months, like maybe almost a year in of picking skincare, but we're not there yet. I'm here with Joanna Check, and she is my facialist. I trust her a hundred billion percent. You know, everyone was telling me at first that I should do a product line that maybe just had like three or four items uh -huh. for launching. And my theory was I wanna do what I usually do, and that is seven or eight products. Your you know, steps. that's my steps. Your steps. And I yeah. always start with cleansing my face. I mean, first I start with a makeup wipe and wiping all the makeup off. That's then right. I wanted a cleanser that had a little bit of like makeup remover in it so that it can get off all the extra residue. Yeah. Because sometimes I don't get off all my mascara or just an yeah. extra layer of my makeup. Then I wanted a few times a week, I, I need a scrub. I need to really I exfoliate my skin. I love it. <laughs> I would say the scrub is probably honestly my favorite product mm -hmm. from the whole line. Um, I want something that's really fine, but also rough enough. It is gentle, so you're gonna have to like, it doesn't scratch, I don't have scratchy particles. My particles in the scrub are really fine, but it gets the job done. They are perfectly round, so they yes. don't create any micro cuts. Yes. They are super spheres. That's yes. that's why I was able to use it yeah. with much more delicate skin with rosacea. And sometimes I've done it directly after cleansing, or sometimes I did mix it with cleanser. Mm -hmm. And that's when you can soften it mm -hmm. if, if you feel that it's too much. Yeah. And someone who has dehydrated skin but not very reactive or wears a lot of makeup, you do need to do it. Mm -hmm. um, two, three times a week, I wouldn't rush to do it every single night, might yeah. be too much. Totally. But two, three times a week, I, I agree. Sometimes mixing with a cleanser, depending on how is your skin behaving. And then we go into the toner. I mean, it's like an exfoliating Yeah, perfect toner. student game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've you've taught me. Cleanser, this toner. This is exactly the system that you told me. And what was so interesting is what I learned is I, I, I heard this before and it really stuck with me that your skin is really like a honeycomb. So it's like you open up the skin to be able to drink up all the nutrients with the hyaluronic acid. Then you put in your serums, like the vitamin C serum, then to seal it all off, you use, you, the you use the moisturizer. I love a really um, dewy, thick moisturizer. Yeah. You can either make it thicker by adding our glow oil, which yeah. I love. It has vitamin C in it, but it just also just kind of like makes your skin glow and yeah. pop. And then mix that with a moisturizer or use either or. And then we have a different serum for night that's like yeah. a restoring oil that I use instead of the glow oil for night. The products that are really like the money are the serums. Serums, I, yeah. I would have to agree. So you have uh, hyaluronic acid with very light molecular weight and heavier molecular weight. The light one creates this relaxed sort of layers of the skin that anything that we follow it, it's going to penetrate easier. And then the heavier weight hydrates skin from the surface uh, up. Of course, Kim and her like. scrub. <laughs> this is like the most and, perfect and my favorite ever. is yeah mix it yes. with the that's what you do I like, my skin. I like it just straight on I want you, that you extra roughness in 17 years oh. you might be a little gentle yeah okay <laughs> oh my gosh this feels really good I didn't know to think to mix it together. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so our face cream. This is the one I love, love, love. This one is gorgeous. Just leaves yeah. this beautiful glow without. Yeah. This one even wasn't bad, except for it's separating, so I don't know how to fix that. That's what the lab is gonna have to do. I mean, it does feel, it feels great. It's been like perfect. I've literally been just been using my samples. I've had more people come up to me asking me like, what have I done to my skin? I've been using and yours done... and my samples for last year. Okay, so this one I mm -hmm. thought was the closest to it. You know, I'm sorry. Just like the 
feel of it. Okay. I don't even know if I should wash my face off. Because I did put it on under the makeup, and the makeup, he'll tell me if it like starts like clumping or pilling with the makeup, okay. and it didn't. Okay. You know, so... on the original. <laughs> okay. So I need to find, like, no, I think I actually used the 26 today. That's the most. That's the one, right? Yes. That's our 26th sample so far of trying to get That's it That's right. a hard work. Yeah. I've seen Skin Care Lines born with the three samples. Three? We came 26. 2019 26. in June. I was in Warsaw when you found me. That's when we had our first conversation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have our two years anniversary. That's Amazing. really when uh, sort of first conversations began about it. Yeah. That's what it takes. It was two years ago. Yes. Yeah. June. Yeah. I was having supper with friends in Warsaw and that's when I got a phone call from Kim K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was it was actually beauty director of Polish Vogue. Oh my gosh, really? Um, I was the coolest then. <laughs> and you're very cool. I'm so, I'm so cool.